Hello, Galaxy! Chris Perillo here with an Entertainment Earth exclusive. You can see that's a 3.75 inch Stormtrooper officer of the First Order. Although they sent this to me, I did not order it. It should be available right now at Entertainment Earth. It was one of those that I wanted to get, if only because it comes with a 3.75 inch figure. This is the Assault Walker. Now, I don't know if this particular vehicle is going to be showing up in The Force Awakens because it doesn't say The Force Awakens here on the box at the top where it says Star Wars. If you can see that, if you can't, maybe I have to angle it differently. But I got it today and am very happy to unbox it. If anybody has any questions during this unboxing, feel free to ask as I am streaming it live onto the interwebs. You can see that on this side, we've got a couple of bits of tape, a uh, side window of sorts to be able to see the Stormtrooper from the side if it was stacked on a shelf, which it is not. It's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. You can see here, we've got a logo with Arabesh, if anybody cares to translate that. I don't write or speak Arabesh. Yet. On the back, you can see a fair amount of information about these assault walkers, or this one in particular, but apparently you could get more than one if you so desired. I just needed one. This is all I was looking for. Yep, they operate as me mechanized cavalry units. So, if you always wanted to call in the cavalry with a stormtrooper leading the charge, this is the way to do it. They'll storm enemy positions and run down fleeing troops as soon as we open it, which we're about to do now. Unless Jedi cares to join me? You do? This could be a father-daughter bonding experience. I need mommy's nails. Does mommy have nails? I really like the box art. Look at that. Yeah. You know, I really think that Hasbro's outdoing themselves. It really is kind of a shame to take apart, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and be... Yes? Uh, can I continue? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I almost want to cut this side panel out and keep it for posterity. It would make a great bookmark. Wouldn't that make a great bookmark, just this side panel? That's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Love it. I got. Okay, time to slice open the package. Uh, can you see Jedi? Well, I guess not right now. But if you'd like to see Jedi, Jedi shows up in pretty much every one of the Daily Geek Father vlogs. Let's go ahead and open this. Wait, for well, I'm probably not going to keep the box. I'm sure some people are cringing, especially if you're a collector. But I am not. I like making collectors cringe. <laughs> oh, although I really want to keep this box intact. You know what? I don't think it's going to happen. <sighs> I just assaulted the box. Go ahead and remove the assault walker from the packaging. And take a closer look at that. Yep. He looks good. I'll be standing him up on my stormtrooper shelf that's here in my play shop. He will stand next to the other first order stormtrooper that I have. The non-officer. That does not have a pauldron. This has a pauldron, obviously. Hey, Yak Face. Uh, I don't know if uh, you've seen this yet, so if you have any questions, Jason, please let me know. Because I know you're just as much of a fan as I am. They sent it to me, Adam. Thank you for asking. Uh, the detail looks uh, pretty standard for a Stormtrooper, specifically the scale. And uh, we'll see how it uh, goes as I remove him from his plastic casing. Ah! Jason gets his tomorrow. Huh. I can't believe I gotta jump on Jason. This never happens. He has everything. <laughs> there we go. It was easy to remove from the packaging. Once you get the packaging out of the packaging, if that made any sense. Let's go ahead and stand this up. We'll twist the legs as 
such, or like so, I should say. I keep saying as such. Okay, so it seems that you can reposition the legs. Yeah, that's, that's there we go. Let's just stand you up. Okay. Uh, yep, that's fine. Um, so we can position the uh, particular the walker. I guess it's a, it looks almost like the um, the scout walker, just a tiny little thing, and uh, it looks nice. I think. Uh, let's see if I can get it positioned perfectly. There we go. There she is, standing up. Do I play with them? Of course I play with them. Of course. Naturally, I would play with these. Oh, wow. So you can pivot this gun right here. Pretty nice detail on the cannon. It swivels pretty much like a 360 or almost 360. Uh, no stickers. Or decals, everything is seemingly actually on the unit, and I appreciate when uh, no stickers come with uh, these particular sets. Nice paint detail throughout. You've got the two feet, and they can be swiveled around in a variety of positions, so you've got some articulation there. And you can even like flip one over. This is this is where uh, you've got a great degree of articulation. Actually, you can flip it over on its head, but it's relatively easy to uh, keep standing as well. You've got uh, a couple of antenna up the back. You've got uh, handlebars which have some degree of motion. That is one piece in there. If I wiggle one side, the other side wiggles as well. And a couple of guns up front. I don't think we have any firing pieces uh, out of this particular uh, per this particular set, this vehicle of sorts. Uh, I'm not much of a vehicle fan as much as I am the, the figure. If I was to get this outright, it would specifically have been for this little guy. Uh, because that's my scale, and I don't mind that this is a 5 POA, because I happen to like 5 POA. It doesn't bother me a bit, which I know really kind of upsets collectors when I say that. Let's go ahead and pop him out. Ah. Okay. No tape, no, uh, um, uh, I guess, twisty ties holding him back. And here we have the Stormtrooper. Okay, so... Ah, yes, the head is much tighter. Uh, I had an issue with my first order stormtrooper from, uh, uh, well, I guess the, the wave, the first wave. The head was really loosey goosey. And, uh, you can pivot it up and down. It's on a ball. Twist it 360, I'd assume, which I'm not gonna do. Uh, he's standing straight. You've got, uh, some, uh, well, no, a good degree of motion, even with the pauldron, which is a separate piece here, uh, not too loose, uh, over his right shoulder. And I would say a fair range of motion on both sides. Tight limbs, which I do appreciate. Legs are maybe a bit loose there at the hips, but not terribly. Uh, we should be able to get him to stand up. There we go. Let's go ahead and slide his gun in. See, that's why I like 5 POA. He looks good. He looks clean. And uh, let's go ahead and slide him. Ah! As his weapon pops off. I don't think he's going to sit down in the vehicle. Uh, no, he will not. But he'll stand up in the vehicle. And there's no peg in the bottom that I saw for him to stand on. But uh, you could pretty much squeeze just about any figure in there. Not any figure, but just about any figure. And I'd assume you'd be able to uh, get the, uh, the grips for his uh, hands to grip onto uh, the handlebars. Hey, Dustin. They sent you an email about it. Well... <laughs> Why'd they just send you an email, Dustin, of all people? So I'm going to actually, um, uh, well, I, you know what I've got? Give me a second. I should have pulled this out before. I uh, have a, a mirror <laughs> to spin it around so y'all can see details. But uh, uh, the reason why I'm grabbing that is uh, with a bonus Lego BB-8. <laughs> I'm going to grab my First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, just to see if it's uh, pretty much, and it seems like it would be same sculpt. The uh, um, the one that came with this set uh, definitely has a, a tighter limbs and is a bit more yellow than the white stormtrooper that I'm holding onto. This this uh, I guess regular first order stormtrooper, and so I'm looking at them both in the same light. Uh, same sculpt, virtually the same paint application, virtually the same. I would say, actually, the, no, the paint application on the uh, First Order Stormtrooper in my hand is actually better. 
than the paint application, and it could just be a variation of the one that I have uh, versus uh, the, the, the one that you might have. Move the phone up. I can't necessarily do that. I can move it closer, though. Look at that. Is that what you're looking for? There's some fine Stormtrooper butt for your Friday evening. Ah, oh, there we go. The full, uh, full package there. Well, no, no, no. Actually, it wouldn't be the full package. You've seen the full package. Uh, I can tilt uh, a bit or uh, pick up the phone, but I've got it resting for a specific reason. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, the gun between, or the weapons uh, that uh, each of these figures come with seem to be exactly the same. Um, you've got kind of like a, a desert-like camouflage on the vehicle outright. And uh, apart from the pauldron, uh, the uh, uh, the stormtrooper is pretty much the same as... Here, let me go lay that there. If you want me to show you any particular uh, detail on the... Uh, uh, on the uh, the vehicle, let me know. I would be happy to maneuver it into position. Okay, I should probably get it to stand. I'm trying to give you a, a good view of both of them, but unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't have that one very well balanced. Let's try this. I wish Hasbro would uh, include stands. There we go. Uh. I needed to move it away anyway. Sorry, everybody. This is what happens when you produce on demand. There we go. So they're pretty much the same uh, for the most part, uh, minus the uh, the pauldron and the color. The, uh, the the Entertainment Earth is definitely uh, um, yellower. Uh, they seem to stand about the same. Same sculpt, virtually same paint application versus quality. Although, like I said, mine is is, is not as good. But paint application isn't necessarily the thing that uh, I appreciate most. I like sculpt. I like design. Uh, my First Order Stormtrooper outright has a number printed on the back of his leg in silver, but the, um, the uh, I guess the officer does not. And there's specks of paint all over. Hmm. So, I don't know if it was just a difference in quality control. I was going to check something. No, you can't necessarily swivel its hips. I thought you might be able to, but it doesn't seem to have any range of motion. Or maybe it's just incredibly tight. But the limbs are tight, and I'm happy that the, the head is tight on, uh, on the First Order Stormtrooper in, in this particular set. Let me see if I can get him to stand up again. The reason why I was going to show you. I don't know if anybody else's First Order Stormtrooper... And you can, you should be able to see the difference in color. Like, this head is, like, incredibly loose. Like, dude, like, so loose. Like, it's it's impossible to even get the, the head to stick in a certain position without it kind of falling down. It was really, really, really incredibly loose. And I don't know if anybody else had uh, the same issue with their First Order Stormtrooper. Specifically, the 3.75-inch First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, any questions as uh, the stormtroopers continue to spin around with this unboxing? I'm just happy to have that officer. I really like it. It's it's going to go along very well. Let's see if I can get him to stand. Is he going to go? Is he going to go? See how the this one is out. <laughs> They're both just about as steady. Actually, are their legs splayed out in the same fashion? No. The, the First Order Stormtrooper, independent of the set, actually has a wider stance. It's wider. So, again, it could be variations in manufacturing. That's interesting. It's fascinating, actually. Uh, blaster fits in leg like standard. Let's see here. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it would. It's got, they each have, uh, I guess, a side clip of sorts. Uh, if I can find what I did with the other weapon. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's on there. Uh, let's go ahead and find out. Squeeze it in there. Yep. Boy, that's a great little detail. Yeah, you know, um, it seems that the legs are better on the Entertainment Earth exclusive. And again, it could just be a variation in what I've uh, picked up versus what uh, you might have seen. Uh, the Stormtrooper Officer is going to look great uh, next to my First Order Snow Trooper. No, not necessarily the Toys R Us exclusive, though I do wish to unbox that at some point. But uh, this one, can't wait. <laughs> and now, see, th it's perfect. They're perfect. Th they'll be perfect standing next to each other, these officers. Yeah. 
That's nice. Uh, I don't really detect any other differences. Yeah. See, even uh, Jason notices uh, the, the leg stance. The narrower leg stance uh, looks a, a bit better. Uh, he doesn't look like he's cocked back all the way either versus the other Stormtrooper, which is kind of, uh, he's, he's arched. So, again, there, there's got to be variations in the manufacturing. Just minor variations. Uh, but still different. I mean, uh, different figures. Same, virtually same sculpt. I'd say a different quality of paint application and a, a different stance altogether. Tighter. The, uh, uh, the Entertainment Earth exclusive, uh, officer is definitely tighter. At least mine is. You'll have to tune into Jason's unboxing to find out, or whoever else is unboxing it to find out if, um, they also see the, uh, the same things. Uh, so, uh, you know, as far as a vehicle goes, very, very small. Uh, very, very clean. Um, insanely playable. I'm going to walk all over the place. These troopers, or I should say, these uh, uh, um, walkers were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these troopers are going to walk all over you. Uh, this has been a live unboxing. Thank you for tuning in for the live unboxing. It's been a lot of fun. Do you like when I do live unboxings? I don't necessarily save them for posterity, but they're fun to do, especially with community who are just as much into this kind of thing as I am. I could talk about this stuff for hours on end, especially with community content creators like Yakface, a.k.a. Jason. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for tuning in to the live broadcast. I appreciate it.